What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a new review of 21-22 Panini Downward Sleep Basketball. This is the hobby version. We did first off the line already. Now we have hobby. Excited to see what this one's all about. If you guys like seeing us review every format we can get our hands on and I want to see more videos like this one, show support in these vids by dropping a like, subscribe to the channel, especially if you are new, and uh, share, comment, ring the notification bell, and sign up for membership to get some bonus content, videos, things like that, and uh, help support the channel. Links down below. But uh, excited to see what hobby's all about. You guys want to see hobby, so we have this one here now. And first off the line was awesome. There's some big surprises this year, and this product's changed a lot from last year. So it's gonna be interesting to see everything we get in this one here. So let's uh, get into the information for this product, then the opening, and then the uh, recap and rating. And uh, let me take this wrapping off real quick so we can see our box. And let me get started. So the SRP for this one is 225. I'll go through this a little faster since we did go over a lot of this for uh, first off the line. The resale is about in the mid $300 range, somewhere around there, uh, give or take like 25 bucks. And then this is a new expanded release. So it used to be online only, and now it is a bigger hobby release. So a lot more made as opposed to last year. So you get eight cards in every single pack, 20 packs per box, 12 box cases, 250 cards set with 50 rookies. Now every rookie is numbered in this. So it's a 999 is the base or less uh, for the parallels. And you'll get about uh, two autographs, uh, two uh, rookies, I'd say maybe more than that, but I'd usually say at least two rookies, uh, eight parallels, eight inserts. And yeah, the only thing is much less rookie content, but they are numbered. So what do you prefer? You'd rather have the couple numbered rookies or many more rookies, but they're worth less and they're not numbered. So comment down below. Very curious on your guys' thoughts. So the uh, autographs include pen pals, which are on card. Now there's also turn of the century. There's elite. There's Passing the Torch, which is uh, one that I've seen is on card, Luca and Cade, huge one. And a bunch of other sets, uh, Rookie Yearbook and um, and more. So look for those. There's Parallels, Elite One of One. There's the Goals, Aspirations, and Status, and uh, Orange, um, things like that. Black One of Ones for Autos and Inserts. And then the Inserts include new Super Short Print 3D Inserts, Dimensions, Next Up, Past and Present, as well as uh, some other ones, Acetate, and more. So look out for those. Spellbound's back, of course. And... Um, most of the same players we've seen in the past. Chris Paul's a new one, I think. But yeah, setting set. And we'll see how this differs from first off the line, which is the one that we've seen already. Now, in the past, I didn't always do both. But more recently, I realized that the uh, kind of configuration of these can differ a lot from hobby to first off the line and the contents. So sometimes, like in prison first off the line, I think we would get like a gold and they consider you, you know, made whole for the box. And there wouldn't really be anything else in there. And, you know, gold vet while nice isn't really worth anything whereas some other boxes for hobby would be um, a lot better so we'll see how this one is and um yeah let's let's see what we think about this, this set so let's take our cards out you have a lot more base this year so seven base cards instead of four and um yeah so there's the design very good design here and at the end comment down below would you rather have hobby or first off the line considering first off the line costs a lot more so See, we got rookie Rubio, and here's our first card. It's a die cut. Could it be a rookie? This is one of the status or aspirations, I think. Don't know which one. Got a Poku. All right, so there we go. It's 29 of 83 Poku, so it's 100 minus the jersey number there at 83. And the other one would be reverse of that. So there we are. And uh, yeah, interesting die cut. Don't really know what the uh, shape's supposed to be, but it's a die cut. Put that there, and there we are. All right, so let's keep going. In the background, we have Kawhi and AD. Get well soon to those guys. Pack in cards at IG. Check it out. Post some stuff on there. Post when uh, new breaks are live, which um, Elite Breaks went live recently, so the site's linked down below. We have Instagram. Uh, we, have, we have Twitter. We have everything. Uh, TikTok, Discord, all linked down below. So always check out down below. And we have all those good things going down there. So here is the uh, next one up. We have an orange. And there we go. Okay. Now the oranges are not numbered. Once again, KJ. And uh, yeah, they look nice though. They look really nice. Kind of looks like an orange vinyl. So it's a nice pattern. Got the nice Kobe's on there. Cool. Got Zion, another get well soon. There we go. All right, let's keep going on. And once again, show support in these videos if you want to see more like it, and we'll have some more. 
tons of more stuff coming so stay tuned and appreciate all that support on these vids all right we might have something here let's see what this is oh Giannis so this one spells Giannis in the past it was his last name so we've seen many Giannis ones from years past and spellbound Giannis cool one so much easier to complete than his last name we'll put that there it's a nice card Siakam and D'Lo and Patrick Williams all right next back up so this set I'm a big fan of they made some great changes the on card is a huge huge surprise big plus the added base it's not necessarily a terrible thing but I just think we could have done without it I think a lot of you guys share that same sentiment where you're gonna give us all these extra cards but they're all just base cards and the base from here isn't anything too special one thing we did notice is the LeBron has his jersey number six that base card so pretty cool star status Kawhi that's one cool base card you have a good chance of getting one because there's so many base in every single box and let's take this one here but overall I think Elite they did a really good job this year in the past this is more so like Elite we've seen in the past past where rookies were to $9.99 and most recently, because it was online exclusive, it was to $2.99. So a lot more made, but it's still on par with kind of what we used to see uh, before the online exclusive release. All right, we should have something here. All right, we have a Danny Manning. It's our first autograph. All right. There we go. Impact Impressions. Is it numbered anywhere? I don't see any numbering. Now, of course, you're looking for those pen pals, passing the torch, things like that. And yeah, no number. All right. It might be a little vet heavy with the autographs, one thing I might say. And looking at that checklist, you'll see a lot of vets. In the past, it was mainly pen pals because much smaller set. And that was like the only autograph set, maybe one or two others. But yeah, so expect a lot more vets. There's the rookie yearbooks. But you can always get those pen pals, and that's a huge, huge draw. Having the opportunity to get an on-card autograph is nice. So Dinwiddie, Bullock, and switch it one more. Red. We have another one of those die cuts. Let's see who it is. Can it be a rookie? Maybe. Can it be Scotty Barnes? Got David Johnson. All right, to 87. It is a rookie, 16 of 87, David Johnson. So we got a, a rookie die cut here. They look nice. And yeah, wish it was Scotty Barnes. All right, that's okay. We'll keep going. Scotty will be the auto. How about that? There we are. All right. So another thing we saw last year was two rookies, at least the 299. And we'd also get maybe a purple or blue or something, some sort of other parallels. You get several rookies per box. Um, and now I think you just get roughly two, and that includes the parallels, which was not the case in the past. So, let's see what we got here. Bane, and Tidal Waves, Middleton, one of those acetate inserts. See through. All right. There you go, Wiseman. All right. Next back up. Still a good amount left. I just don't get the reasoning behind just giving us a bunch of more base cards would have been nice to add something else or just keep it the same all right can we get a rookie we cannot Clarkson cool and some more base Dort real deal Beal all right so we maybe about halfway I think halfway let's see what's in this one all-star Wiggins starter Wiggins New King. All right, so we're getting the parallels. Now these orange ones are the are the classic non-numbered parallel, but the rookies are still numbered, which is good. But you'll get a lot of those. A lot of those vets there. And there's our base. So you get a huge brick of base. All right. These packs also open a little, not a little weird. They kind of just rip a little too easily and get a little mangled. Not that that's a huge deal. DB and insert here. Bogey. 
power formulas. Van Lockdown. And there we go. Anthony Data Davis. All right. Let's see the other auto and at least one other rookie, I would assume. So maybe it's here. Maybe it's not. Halliburton, new pacer. Danny Green. Uh, this will probably be, I think it, maybe it's a Spellbound. Maybe it's Kyrie. Oh, no, it's not. It's the star status. All right. A lot of die cuts in here. So, star status, Kyrie. It's a cool card. I don't really know where they get the design for... Actually, I guess I kind of see where they cut it there, but they didn't cut it here. I don't know. Interesting die cut designs. And there's our base, Luca. All right. Now we're getting down to the end. Let's see something super cool. I'd love to get a pen pal autograph. And the first off the lines gave us those two exclusive parallels. So we're not getting those here. So what, let's see uh, what's going to be giving us our value here. Terrence Mann, another vet. All right. And there we go. All right. So we've gotten a lot of oranges so far. A couple die cuts. We didn't see any last time, I don't think. So, yeah, if you haven't seen our first off the line, I'll definitely check that out because that was a that was a really good one. That was really good. So, Mr. Loyal. Oh, oh, got Zion. Clarity. It's a nice card. His pictures have been improving. Shoe untied. Hmm. I don't know. Small little something. Rare untied shoe parallel. Very cool. Very cool. And that concludes our our pack there. All right. Let's uh let's get this one. Last several. Still waiting on I would hope a rookie and an autograph. Hopefully a a better autograph. No disrespect to our first one, but let's see. Simons. And Joel Embiid. Who's your MVP? In Giannis. Going toe to toe. Very nice card there. Oh, I can beat. And we'll put that right here. Kemba, Clark, and yeah, there you go, Giannis. All right, he answered the call. So we're coming down to the end. Still waiting for that, that auto. You always want to see that auto sooner rather than later because most recently we've been shorted our autographs and uh, we know it's a possibility. So you definitely want to see it as soon as possible. We got Mello and... We have something here. Is this a rookie? I think it might be. I think it might be. All right. 416 of 999. Bones Highland. That's a solid one. Just got a... It has an injury replacement, I think. So, cool. Rookie there. All right. Nice. These rookies look pretty cool. I like them a lot. Very shiny and numbered. So, yeah. Thoughts down below once again. What do you guys think about yet... Much less rookies, obviously, but they're numbered. So they're worth more. No mystery print run. It's max 999 of that one. So what are your thoughts on that one there? So here we go with our last number of packs here. Can we get one more rookie? That'd be a really nice surprise. We have another orange. How many oranges could you get of vets? Kings. Davion? Nope. Buddy healed. We got like five of these. It's like the red mosaics or the uh, red waves in prism. Oh man. Lucky Curry, maybe. Big penguin. Randall. All right, here we go with our last few. Can we get something nice? Please, 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 please. All right. Here we are. We have Killian. Waiting for that backwards card. It should be coming soon. Ja Morant. Go Grizz. And no, nope, another insert. Power formulas, Giannis. Okay. Rose. Kyrie. Okay, so we have like four left, maybe, something like that. Somewhere from three to five. Now, my hopes aren't high for another rookie. I think we're just waiting for that autograph. But if they want to lob us a rookie, we'll take it. This might be a spellbound. You know what? I don't know. Last time we thought it was spellbound, it was not. Oh, it's Ja. All right. 
so you can spell Morant. So I'd need the jaw and the Morant. Lots to collect, but that'd be a fun set. Have the whole name in the back. Very nice. I like that one. Next, I need to put Bane and Jaren and uh, Zaire. A few random guys off the top of my head. All right, last, I think, two here, right? Yeah, last two. Let's see. Come on. Where's our auto? If you haven't seen our Super Bowl opening, then... Yeah, you uh, definitely want to check that out. You'll understand why I'm a little nervous right now. Okay. We haven't gotten anything too crazy. We did get some numbered rookies, but they're all numbered. One was a die cut. I think we have something here. So let's let's see. Here's our base. And, uh, all right. Is this? Okay. It's going to be good. Please be good. Rookie yearbooks. Um, okay. So this is the set you don't want. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. The yearbook picture is kind of cool in the back. And there you go. So the autographs, not the strongest. Put this here. You're not guaranteed a pen pal, which is um, notable. But you have the chance to get them. That's pretty huge. So there we are. And um, yeah, autograph. Nothing too strong, unfortunately. And... Um, about what I expected. Not every box is going to have one really juicy auto looking at that checklist. So, all right, let's see what our last pack has. Okay. Hobby's last stand. Good luck, Hobby. Here we go. Can they give us something good or is it going to be orange or is it going to be insert? Come on. I'm rooting for you, Hobby. Oh, there's a little brawn. There we go. So, number six. Million dollar super trillion card. Very, very rare. Just kidding, it's not actually that rare. All right. Uh, oh, this is the bottom. I think it's uh, a spellbound. It's a LeBron. Is it numbered somewhere? It actually could be pretty. Oh, all right. 63 of 99. Numbered LeBron. Okay, so Hobby had their last stand and it was a successful last stand. Got the B. LeBron James. All right, that's nice. Spellbound number ones are awesome. We actually pulled a gold Luca while back on the Breaks channel, which is linked down below, our second channel. And um, yeah, these are awesome cards. So getting the numbered ones, if you can get a numbered set, that's different. So it's 99 LeBron. That's a nice card to close on. Nice to uh, save this a little bit right there. So there's our packs. And let's see everything we got. Once again, comment your thoughts down below on the rookie situation. And Hobby was first off the line. Which one are you thinking? And then uh, we'll be having a lot more of this in the future. So stay tuned. We have uh, some stuff on the break channel and our sites down below. Yeah, we'll open some more. We'll see what we think. I like this base card. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised that's the one we like. This is the first one we get. If you can understand what I'm saying. It's just, uh, I don't know why Donruss Elite. I'm happy to see it. Donruss Elite, they've really gone above and beyond, but wondering why they chose this one. Pretty cool, though. LeBron number card at the end, which is awesome. I wish this one was in that jersey, too. But there we go. This is the B. And we have our auto number one, Ja. And they have Bones Highlands. That's a pretty solid card. And uh, Embiid, Zion, got the David Johnson, almost Scotty Barnes. And then we have Danny Manning here, autograph, Giannis, and Poku. So solid. Nothing super insane. Uh, LeBron's very nice, as well as the Bones. And um, got the autos here. It's a solid set for sure. Getting numbered rookies is not the easiest thing. So getting two of them guaranteed is a pretty big plus. This is cheaper for sure than first off the line, but you get those two parallels on first off the line and a lot more potential. So overall, given the price, given the contents, they're pretty similar to each other. And um, if I had to rate this one on a scale from one to 10, I'm going to give this the exact same rating that I gave the uh, first off the line one, which is a 7.25, I believe. And main thing is the contents are pretty much um, mainly similar. I don't recognize a huge difference. You'll get those two rookies. And it's hard for the contents to differ a lot for this one, I think, thinking about it now, because uh, you only, you're only you guaranteed those two, right? They're maybe going to give you one more, but they usually won't give you one, and the contents will be pretty uh, uniform. But then the difference is those parallels, which you're paying an extra $100, you know, $200, somewhere in that range for, uh, for first off the line. So it ends up being pretty similar in the end, and you're just paying the extra for the parallels. So which one would you rather have? Um, but yeah, cool to take a look at it. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. 
I like this LeBron a lot. Numbered bronze. And uh, they're always good cards. So overall, pretty sweet. Nothing insane, but uh, it's a fun opening. Definitely a good set. Hopefully the price can go down and excited for more 21-22 stuff. So that's the first one, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.